Now, we have an interesting kind of leak surrounding the Intel Arc desktop GPUs and the amount of 8-pin power connectors. How many do you think they are? Well, you'd be surprised. I am surprised. Apparently, it's three. So Intel graphics fellow Tom Peterson showed a prototype Arc GPU with three 8-pin power connectors. Although Intel didn't show any power connectors in its Arc Desktop Limited Edition teaser, Peterson confirmed this is actually a standard power ATX graphics card, according to Intel ATX 3.0 specs. The new PCI Gen 5 power connector only applies to GPUs above 300 watts. Therefore, one might assume that this card has a lower TDP graphics power. During the hot hardware interview, a full-size desktop graphics card with PCIe by 16 interface was shown by Peterson. This was almost caught cert this was almost certainly a prototype. In fact, it might not even be an Arc GPU. However, one might wonder what this what was this card doing on his desk during the Arc related interview. Not to mention the fact that the Intel is not planning on any other XE HPC HC card with PCI interface, at least officially. You can see here, apparently they got a clip of it and it's one, two, three by eight pins. So this prototype board clearly has three eight pin power connectors, each technically capable of delivering 150 watts of power. The spacing between the connectors further suggests this is an engineering board for evaluation. It looks nothing like the Arc Alchemist prototype boards that we've been seeing for a few months. Therefore, one might wonder if this is a successor to the Alchemist. After all, Intel confirmed that Battle Mage is targeting an even higher enthusiast performance segment. But then one might ask, why use three 8-pin power connectors if the company just announced ATX 3.0 specs defining 300 watt plus GPUs with a new connector? The one that would actually replace all three standard 8-pin connectors. What is undeniable, though, is that this was an interview about Arc GPU, and the prototype board was shown shortly after the segment covering desktop teaser video. It is unclear, though, why Peterson decided to showcase this card at that moment specifically. So it's still kind of up in the air. It's a very, very weird leak, obviously. If we are going to be seeing three 8 pins on the Alchemist GPU, specifically the one with the 256-bit bus and the faster GDDR6, you know, it could mean that the power consumption to hash ratio isn't going to be as good as we've initially anticipated. But it could just be that if this is kind of a prototype sample type thing, they were adding more power to a specific board to see how far they could push any particular GPU and push the hardware. And that's not actually what's going to get released. Either way, we'll kind of have to wait and see. I'd like to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show. Every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here. Or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.